Having a great workflow between Anima and other content creation tools is key. In fact, 3ds Max, Cinema 4D and Unreal Engine are some of those programs that are already available for seamless integration with Anima. Not to mention that this is already compatible with several render engines such as V-Ray, Corona, Octane and Arnold. Therefore, to continue improving our offer, we introduce a new plugin for Maya. This new addition allows Anima to reach the visual effects industry and lets artists unleash the power of their imagination. Once the plugin has been installed, you can verify it by looking for the anima.mod file in a Maya installation folder slash modules. Then launch Maya and go to the Windows menu to setting preferences and click on the plugin manager. Scroll down until you find the Anima plugin Maya, click on both the loaded and auto load check buttons. For more information, you can also click the info icon. Now you have the new access Anima menu. To import an Anima project, click on the first option. As you can see, the same Anima Projects browser appears. Here, you decide which scene you want to import, and then click on the Open button. As soon as the scene has been loaded, you will be asked which material preset you want to be used according to your render engine. Enable the textures in the viewport, and you're ready to go. By using the Outliner, you can select the Anima Scene Controller to access all the parameters of the Anima project inside Maya. However, the Attribute Editor is where all the options are actually located. There, for instance, you can select which scene you want to work with, whether or not to show textures in the viewport, and how big the Anima Scene Controller icon has to be. You can also add background elements to your simulations and send them to Anima using the ALive link. Then in Anima you can create the simulation elements according to the imported environment, adding paths, areas, a lot of actors. Once ready, by saving the scene in Anima it will be reloaded in Maya thanks to the ALive link. With a lot of actors imported in the viewport, it can be really useful to set the maximum number of fully rendered meshes to improve performance. All the characters' animations are imported, as you can check in real time by scrubbing the timeline. Moreover, you can make changes to your background models in Maya, add them to the Anima project and use the ALive link to send them to Anima. And thanks to this live connection, it's even possible to synchronize cameras. You can control your camera point of view in Maya and get the same camera updating in real time in Anima. The Maya plugin takes into account the render engine you're currently set up. Whether you're using Arnold, V-Ray or Redshift, the Anima scene will always render accordingly. However, the actor's materials are related to the render engine enabled when the Anima project was imported. If you change the render engine, you have to update your Anima scene in Maya. To achieve this, select the Anima scene controller in the viewport, open the attribute editor, look for the Rebuild Materials button and click on it. This will reset all your actor's materials according to your new options. You can then use the IPR mode to get a fast preview of your rendered simulation. Now, in order to delete an Anima project in Maya, you must go to the Access Anima menu and click on Clear Anima Project. So keep in mind that deleting the Anima Scene Controller in the viewport won't work. Another key aspect is that importing an Anima project is not the only method of integrating Access Design characters into your Maya projects. In fact, you can use a similar library panel as the one in Anima to select those actors you need and then send them to your scene. By using this workflow, all character's variations will be imported. Therefore, you can keep those you prefer and discard the others. An important detail is that these are not Anima objects but plain Maya meshes as you have imported an FBX file. In the end, Anima 4D expands even more its reach thanks to this new plugin, that offers a lot of flexibility to better integrate Anima simulations in your projects.